Oh, a sphinx, so dramatically opens a leather pouch, and he just throws down lapis lazuli gemstones, uh, uh, on splashing them on the divan. Yeah, sphinx says, yeah, these are rare from Badakhshan, uh, far north of Afghanistan, uh, near China. And uh, the queen of Chitral, after we get to know each other, gifted them to me for my protection. Safo, I pass them on to you for your protection. And, uh, you know, facet and polish them any way you wish. You make jewelry, uh, you know, uh, whatever your spirit intuits. And um, why jewelry exists well, you, these are rubies, is to protect the vital parts of the human body. This protects my neck. A bracelet protects my wrist. An ankle bracelet protects my ankle. Uh, a pendant protects my heart. So, um, yeah. Safo is entranced as she takes the gemstones into her quivering hand. And, uh, well, the phrase ankle bracelet, that triggers up Pasha. Huh? And he presents his a lesbian hashish trail traveling partner. And that first night in Istanbul. Uh, with an ankle bracelet. Uh, and uh, oh, she yelps with delight. She discovers it's uh, silver. And it's got 20 little bells all along the ankle. That way, Pasha can hear her coming in the bedroom. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Pasha says like Safa. This is a real deal. This is 18th century filigreed harem ankle bracelet. Talking Sultan Ahmad III. And uh, it's a gift. It's a momento for you to remember when we were crawling underground in those drain pipes. Oh, you'll hear about that later. And discovered the secret passageway so that the sex slaves could get out of the uh, Topkapi Palace. And, and <laughs> they, their boyfriends were sea captains, very wealthy and very mm -hmm, penetrating personalities. Yes. I like the Sultans. The Sultans, like, they, they fucked so many Caucasians, they became Caucasian. There's like a 1% Ottoman Turk left in them. So they lost all of their yeah. original. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, Safo holds the ankle bracelet up to the light. Oh, incredibly beautiful. Uh, uh, thanks a lot, man. You really... Turning me on. Yeah. Oh, Sphinx. Uh, he looks at. Oh, exceedingly rare work. Impre oh, he points out uh, I interweaving floral patterns of microscopic tulip bulbs. Characteristic of top copy jewelry during the um, reign of the Tulip Sultan. He's a genius, huh? 1703 to 1720. Vibration, huh? Powerful. Strange. As if Sphinx himself expects to die in any moment, and these are his farewell words before he leaves the planet. Well, hence, the Egyptian mystic in this most remote desert sacred power spot alcove, tough to the max, tells the real, complete life story of Omar Nadez Master. From birth to, uh, well, hopefully he's not dead yet. Huh? 